What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So a little backstory before we get started with today's video. The BMW isn't running right at the moment. Um, it's shaking, it's misfiring, and it could have to do with a leaking vacuum hose, I'm not sure. So that brings me to today's video where I am going to be making my own smoke machine. You guys seem to like these tool videos and I need to make my own because I don't want to pay like a thousand dollars for a nice smoke machine when I can just make one myself here at home. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So as you can see, we have a bunch of materials here that we're going to be using to make our own smoke machine. Um, this idea is kind of popular here on YouTube, but there's certain things that I want to change and make my own. So. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I think it's gonna be very efficient compared to the other ones that you see here on YouTube. So to go over everything I'm gonna be using, I have this little six quart tub here that this is optional. Um, so I have this, I think it's called a closet flange. I'm not very good with all these little PVC plumbing things. So I'm pretty sure it's called a closet flange and this is called a total knockout or something like that. So this goes like that, and this is basically the body of your smoke machine. Now inside here, in order to make smoke, you need some torch wicks. Uh, these are for those little tiki candles, and you need to wrap some of this wire around it. The best wire to use is this canthal wire. I will have links to all of these things in the description below. So you wrap this around the wicks, and then you Spray some either mineral oil or baby oil on it. Basically the main ingredient in, in this is mineral oil, so you can always use baby oil. And basically you just have to charge this wire. So I got these uh, little alligator clips for the battery and I will be running this cable on them uh, to charge this wire, get it hot and get it all smoking. So that's basically all you need in order to make smoke. But after that you need an air source to basically blow the smoke into the car. So my idea, I know a lot of people just hook up the hose and put either uh, propane tank regulators on them or normal regulators and just turn them down. I am gonna be using this electric air pump and I'll show you guys how to do that. Like I said, I'll put links to everything that I'm using down in the description, but this is basically what I'm gonna be using for my air source so that I have everything together. So enough chit chat, let's get to work. I'm gonna be starting to assemble the smoke machine first and then I'll be putting the air pump onto it. So I'm gonna be playing a time lapse right now and I'll try to explain how I did everything so that you guys can do it yourselves at home. All right, so just to give you guys an update of where I'm at, I cut a hole and put this conjunction of adapters on here. Um, this is where the smoke will be coming out and into a car via this hose. And like I said, I cut out a hole here to get this 
pressure relief valve. It's just a metal tire valve, so I cut a hole for that and it has the rubber grommet in here so I know it's not gonna leak. This hole right here will be for this air feed from the air pump to go in like that. So this is basically the top. I shaved down the sides of this so it can fit in this bucket because I just wanna carry it all here and the air pump will go just to get an idea, it's gonna go basically both things like that. Obviously this will be pointing that way. I just gotta cut a hole for the wires. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and start fitting this torch wicks into this part right here. And then I'm gonna measure out the ohms. You wanna shoot for two ohms of resistance in the length of the wire. Uh, the thinner gauge, basically the higher the number, the less length you need. I'm using 22 gauge, so We'll see how much length I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that. And then I'm gonna wrap it around here and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do to charge it. All right guys, so it's getting pretty late. I think I'm at the point where I can test it to see if it is gonna make smoke. I have this little battery here that I'm gonna be using to power it up and we'll see if it starts making smoke. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some on and leave some in the bottom. And let's see if it works. I'm gonna hook power to power and ground to ground see what happens oh yeah this thing is instantly making smoke nice all right so as you guys can see it is making smoke so I know we did a good job uh, like I said I'm putting a connector here just to make it easier to take the wires off whenever I need to so like I said it's getting pretty late so I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys in the morning and we will finish this up. We did basically all the hard parts and tomorrow is all about just getting everything tightened up and I think we should be good. All right guys, next day here. Yesterday we left off with a working smoke machine. Um, and like I said, today is just about getting everything finished up. So first things first, I'm gonna be taking this connector off because I need to put this lid on top of everything and I'm gonna have to open a hole so that this can go through as well. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I also have to basically just get the air pump uh, running into, or I guess pumping into the container here and then run the wires for a battery and we should be good to go.
All right, so as you can see, I got the hole lined up right there for the connector. So the connector will go in just like that through here. That way it goes in through both sides. Um, I got this good to go now. I got the hose on there and on the other end, I have this rubber tip that's off of just a cheap uh, little blow gun. That way it's easier it's tapered, that way it's easier to put into any vacuum hose. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back off and then I'm gonna put some of this PVC cement on there so it can be glued together. Then after that, all I have to do is finish the wiring, which what I want to do is I want to put this here, connect it, and I'm gonna cut the power cord off of the blower and I'm gonna make it into one wire and that way, I'm gonna use that wire into these alligator clips. That, that way I'll only connect one set of alligator clips to the battery and it'll power this on instantly and then this will still work off of the switch because you don't wanna start blowing immediately. You want to make sure that a lot of smoke gets accumulated in, then you turn the blower on so you can move it in through here, through the hose and into the car. So to make these into one, I bought these little connectors off of Amazon. Again, I'll post a link to these. These are pretty expensive. They're like $6 a set. So this was $6 and then this was $6, but there's really no other clean way to do it. So this is what I opted for. You guys can use this or do your own method if you want, but I just wanted to make it a clean transition. So I got these. I got one for the ground and one for the power. So basically I'll have this and the blower in one cable going to the alligator clips to the battery. All right guys, so I messed up and I feel kind of dumb. So I cut the cord on this already and then I tried testing it with the battery and it wasn't working, but it works when I plug it in back to the wall. So basically this is strictly 120 volt and I needed to get one that has a 120 volt or a 12 volt plug. So I can't make it work unless I plug it into the wall. So I'm gonna, well I already ordered the one I need with a 12 volt plug, but I have to wait for that to come in now to finish the video. This I actually bought used off of Amazon, so I only paid like six bucks for it. So I'm not losing much and it still works, so I'm sure I can find some use for it around the house. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I will post a link to the new one that I will be using, but like I said, this video is gonna get delayed because I ordered the wrong one, so. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some JB Weld epoxy and I'm gonna put some right here and also around this connector right here just so that nothing leaks out of there and everything is nice and sealed. So I'm gonna do that after I get the PVC cement to stick. So that's what I'm gonna be doing behind the scenes. So when I come back, this will be nice and sealed and we'll be ready to finish it up. All right guys, shout out Amazon Prime because it's only two days later and we already have our new air pump. So this is the one that we had bought at first that actually uses a house plug so we couldn't make that work. But this one is our new one and it uses, well, it had a car port here, but I just took it off. So I put power to it and I got it to work. Let me show you guys. I 
have to hold it so that they don't touch but they're hooked up So we know this one is definitely gonna work. So as you can see, I drilled a hole out here for this plug and one back here for this plug. Um, this was the old one. I actually ended up breaking because this plastic is so easy to break. But I opened up a hole here for this fitting and everything sits in here perfectly now. What I wanna do is I wanna run these wires to hook up to these and then just make one solid connection to the battery and get it to work. All right guys, so I think we are finally done. I got these two to one connectors, one for power and one for ground. And I got five feet of wire right here. So there it is. The only thing I have left to do is throw on these alligator clips for the battery. But before we do all that, I wanna go ahead and hook it up to the battery, make sure everything works. So I'm gonna throw some more baby oil in here and let's try it out. All right guys, moment of truth. So right now, it is powered by the battery and it should be making smoke. So I'm gonna give it about 30 seconds to make enough smoke then I'm gonna see if the fan will turn on if the or the air pump so the air pump should turn on and if there's smoke in here it should shoot out this hose right here so let's go ahead and find out alright so I got the hose right there it's been about 30 seconds I can see some smoke coming around I think it leaks from here a little bit but that's fine so let's go ahead and turn the pump on and there we go there is our smoke machine. So, I turned the fan off or the pump off right now, but the smoker should still be making smoke. Let's find out. Oh yeah, look at all that. Oh yeah. So again, if we close it and I turn the, the pump on, we should be able to see it traveling through the hose. I'm gonna go ahead and open it all the way. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, you can see it just moving out. 
going to go ahead and take the power off of it. And now the ground. So now it has no power. And this shouldn't be making smoke. Although it should still have some in right now, but it's not getting any power, so it's not going to make more than what is already in here. Let's see. Yeah. So, see? It's not making any more, so. Alright, guys, and that's how you can make a smoker here at your house. Like I said, you don't have to go out to the store and spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on a smoke machine. You can make one for under a hundred bucks at your own house and it works great. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get the notifications because I will be uploading a video here soon on me putting that thing to work because like I said, the Beamer is down right now and I think it could be a vacuum leak so we're gonna test it out see if any smoke is leaking out of anywhere and we'll know if there is a leak or not. So that thing will be put to work. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure that you guys subscribe. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned how to make your own smoker or smoke test machine at home. Like I said, I will be linking everything I use in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I will get back to you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.